And Ooh. now Fight Club, we got more fights. What do you say? Are you ready for more undercard fights? Yeah. All right, up next, it's another undercard fight scheduled for five jokes, tit for tat. Introducing first, she's such an annoying Jew, you wish the Holocaust actually did happen. <laughs> Bonnie Harris! Baby. Yes. You look great. Sorry, Bonnie Q, I dead named you there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. How are you doing? I used to be tonight? more Jewish. Yes. And now I'm less Jewish. How you doing? You ready for this fight? I'm doing well. I hope it turns physical. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm ready to beat this guy's ass. I will do it. Where are you your opponent now? He looks like he collects child anime porn. Eric Asker! <laughs> For a guy whose last name is Asko, you look like you never do. Um, <laughs> Take it like a real man, that's what I say. <laughs> if there was one present. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yo, yeah. Five jokes, tip for tat. Eric, Bonnie, which one of you two wants to go first? Ladies first. Oh. Shit, it's getting hot. That means, she can't, that means she can't go first. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Five jokes starting with Eric Fight Club. What do you say? Are you ready for this fight? <laughs> Five jokes starting with Eric. This fight starts now. Bonnie used to uh, make guy friends by letting uh, men platonically feel her boobs. <laughs> that's, that's true, yeah. Anyways, me and Bonnie are really good friends. <laughs> I just met him today. We're not friends. Uh, happy 9 11, everybody! Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. 9 11. Obviously, I brought the twins, and so did that other battler. Hey, they're also slowly collapsing. <laughs> He's tall, bombs, loves to go down on firemen. <laughs> Thank you, Weird Al Skankabitch. Hey. <laughs> Bonnie's, uh, Bonnie's a bit of an SJW. A stupid Jew whore. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Give it up for Eric, because no girl will. Oh. <laughs> Eric is the only incel to lose his job due to asexual harassment allegations. <laughs> now that he's applied to DoorDash, so at least he can work on his delivery. <laughs> exactly. I thought if I waited a second, they would start laughing, but then. No. Hmm. Uh, Bonnie has cheated on every boyfriend she's ever had. They're watching. <laughs> but to be fair, how else is she supposed to get booked on shows? <laughs> so. Wow, dude! <laughs> Thank you, Eric Asshole. <laughs> when Eric isn't complaining about how expensive open mics are, <laughs> <laughs> you owe me five dollars, you Jew. <laughs> I'm the Jew? Okay. He co-hosts an all-male podcast called The 69th Amendment, which takes away a woman's right to free speech. Sensational. I do. Every, every week I, like, I go to Bonnie's uh, open mic and pay $5 to get up, which is actually her relationship with most men. <laughs> they pay. You too. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Oh, that was, I'm sorry, that was the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Homo Simpson. Okay. <laughs> Eric's stand-up most notably features racial slurs, awkward eye contact, and shaking like Michael J. Fox. Exactly how Eric's dad would describe having sex with him. He's the boy who cried after sex. <laughs> Last joke. Uh, Bonnie's pussy is a lot like the army. You know, you get respect for having been in it, but who wants to deal with the mental anguish? <laughs> Thank 
Thank you, you white cis man. I'm sorry, you white sissy man. Okay. <laughs> Eric's mom had cancer, beat it, then unfortunately the cancer metastasized into a hack comic and shit podcaster. <laughs> Eric, what's it like knowing your mom's cancer has seen more stages than you? <laughs> Woo! Give it up for Bonnie and Aaron! We're going to our judges, Danny Polish. What's up? What's up with you? What do you think of this awkward, yeah. awkward Hebrew school interaction? Yeah. Very awkward. Well, at first when she called him a lady, I thought that was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And then, but then he kind of turned her. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I was. I had it for him until that last joke at the stage. Did your mom actually have cancer? She sure did. Okay, well then yours. Uh, <laughs> Her favorite sex position is remissionary. <laughs> that was a vote for Bonnie, Bobby Sheehan. I, I thought, give, the, give it up for them. This battle is great. So, uh, I don't know if this makes sense, but, but I think Bonnie looks like she teaches improv to prisoners. <laughs> right? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> But she loves being in that prison classroom, and he loves being in that prison shower. You know. What I mean? <laughs> so I thought I thought this was so close. I ki I promised myself I would only vote for men tonight. But honestly, it was uh, the the cancer joke is so funny. His mom has cancer. I think that's beautiful. But like at the same time, he has a podcast called The 69th Amendment, and I don't know if you saw me visibly chuckle, because 69... It's, it's the funniest the... part of the podcast is the title, so... <laughs> Damn, dude, she's got your number, but honestly... <laughs> and his number is 69. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I also have a podcast called Locker Room Talk, which can be found wherever podcasts are sold. So you guys are interested. Listen to that one. Listen to that one. Yeah, oh, thank you. Do you like it? This is actually a very important question. I, I, love, I love it. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys talk about things. <laughs> yeah, we do talk about things. Fuck, you have listened. Um, <laughs> I, it's so close to cancer jokes. It's very funny, but when he had the comeback to the titty joke, mm. I mean, that, that made me laugh really hard, so just barely I have to go to Eric. Mm -hmm. We got one for Eric, one for Bonnie. Fight Club, we're going to go to you guys now. Do you think the winner of this fight is Bonnie Q? Woo! Or is the winner of this fight, Eric Asker? <laughs> Crowd vote goes to Eric. Two to one. Big Dog will come to you. What do you think? Uh, this is a great battle. I loved how mean you were, Bonnie. But uh, I, I think it's actually one of the first battle is that it's very hard to go against a large-breasted woman. And Eric did not collapse and start simping like the last time. <laughs> do you want me to read the Instagram? <laughs> Simp alert. Simp alert. I'm gonna vote for Eric. That's one vote for Eric, or three votes for Eric now. He's got it wrapped up. Well, Marley, do you want to see the Instagram DMs? <laughs> or another joke? Yeah, we release the DMs. No. <laughs> There's pictures. <laughs> There's pictures. Yeah, we compared clips. <laughs> Hers looks like a baby carrot. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Uh, that tits joke was out of turn, but you, it was funny, and I was gonna. I'm a real big rules guy. Okay? <laughs> so that tits joke was out of line. No, out of turn. <laughs> and then uh, she. But it was funny. And then she got the cancer, uh, which is funny, because your mom was cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but she's been roasting post show. Yeah, she's looking up at us right now, having a great time. <laughs> oh, your mom beat cancer? Is he? <laughs> oh, she, oh, okay. Well, she's still alive. She's just disappointed. That's true. <laughs> Eric's dead to her. Yeah, dude. Eric, I was going to vote for you, but you let her fucking toast you this post show. <laughs> I gotta go by. I thought you cared about rules. <laughs> I thought you hated women. <laughs> Well, that's two votes for Bonnie, but Eric got three. Very close fight, but give it up for the winner, Eric Asker!